Hello friends, welcome to Save Boundary Game video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood how to move the ball in X axis, how to move the ball in Y axis. We also understood how to make the ball not to cross left edge of the stage, right edge of the stage, top edge of the stage and bottom edge of the stage. In this video tutorial, I want to move this ball diagonally. I want to move this ball like a Pong game ball. I think you might have played the Pong game and observed that the ball moving diagonally and bouncing on all edges of the stage. I want to add that behavior to this ball. So how do we move this ball like a Pong game ball? I select the second frame of the actions underscore layer, go to window menu and say actions. You can see that actions window is launched. To make the ball move like a Pong game ball, I need to uncomment the code which is responsible for moving the ball in X axis that we have commented in the previous video tutorial. I'm going to uncomment this line of code. I uncomment this line of code. I uncomment this part of the code which we have commented in the previous video tutorials. And then I cut this line of code from here and paste it here. We know that if we add velocity x to ball x, it starts moving horizontally. If we add velocity y to ball y, it starts moving vertically. If we add both velocity x as well as velocity y to ball, then it starts moving diagonally guys. If I hit control enter, click on the play button, you see that the ball moving diagonally and bouncing on all edges of the stage. So that's how actually the Pong game ball moves. So that is how you write the code to make the ball move like a Pong game ball guys. That's what you have to do. Let's understand the code exactly what is happening. Already we have discussed this, but I'm going to explain once again clearly step by step from scratch guys. I am going to delete this line of code. I'm going to delete these two lines of codes. I delete the code that we have written in the update function. I delete this line of code from here. Now we have the init function and the update function. That's it. Now I want to move the ball in X axis. To move the ball in X axis, what we do? First, we create a variable called as velocity in X of type number. And then we set the velocity X to 10 semicolon. And then we add this velocity x to ball x continuously inside update method. So we say here ball underscore mc dot x equal to ball underscore mc dot x plus velocity x. I told you that if velocity x is positive, then ball starts moving towards right. I hit control enter, click on the play button. You see that the ball is moving towards right. I hit control enter click on the play button, you see that the ball is moving towards right. If I have to move the ball towards left, then I told you that the velocity x should be negative. I say here minus 10. I hit control enter, click on the play button, you see that the ball is moving towards left. I hit control enter, click on the play button, ball moves towards left. So remember that if velocity x is positive, ball moves towards right. If velocity x is negative, ball moves towards left. Remember that, okay? Now, I'm going to comment this code. I say forward slash, forward slash, forward slash, forward slash, forward slash, forward slash. Now, I want to move the ball in y axis. To move the ball in y axis, what we do? We create one variable called as vy, where that is velocity in y of type number. And then we set the velocity y to positive 10. Then we add this velocity y to ball y continuously in update function. I say here ball underscore mc dot y equal to ball underscore mc dot y plus velocity y. I told you that if velocity y is positive, then ball starts moving downward. I hit control enter, click on the play button. You see that the ball is moving down. I hit control enter. Click on the play button, you see that the ball is moving down. If I have to move the ball upward, 
then I told you that the velocity y must be negative. I hit Ctrl Enter, click on the play button, you see that the ball is moving up. I hit Ctrl Enter, click on the play button, you see that the ball is moving up. So remember that if velocity y is positive, then ball moves down. If velocity y is negative, then ball moves upward guys. Remember that. Okay. Now what I do, I am going to uncomment this line of code. I uncomment this line of code. I uncomment this line of code. This time we are adding velocity x as well as velocity y to ball. Now what happens? Velocity x is positive 10. Velocity y is positive 10. You can see that. I told you that if velocity x is positive, it moves towards right. And if velocity y is positive, the ball moves downward. So what happens here, the ball moves to the right as well as downward. Actually, it moves diagonally to the right and downward, guys. If velocity x is positive, as I told, ball moves towards right. If velocity y is positive, ball moves downward. If we are applying both velocity x as well as velocity y and both are positive, then what happens? Ball moves diagonally to the right and downward, guys. Let's see that. I hit Ctrl Enter, click on the play button. You see that it moves diagonally right and downward. It moves in this direction. I hit Ctrl Enter, click on the play button. It see you can see it is moving diagonally towards right and bottom. Similarly, you can see here if velocity x is positive, we know that the ball moves towards right. If velocity y is negative, ball moves upward. If we apply both of them, then ball moves diagonally to the right and upward. Let me go here and set the velocity y negative 10. I hit Ctrl Enter, click on the play button. You can see it moves to the right upward diagonally. I hit Ctrl Enter, click on the play button. It is moving diagonally upward and right side. Right? What happens if we say both negative? Velocity x is also negative. Velocity y is also negative. As, a, as we know that if velocity x is negative, ball moves to the left. If velocity y is negative, ball moves upward. When we apply both velocity x, velocity y negative, then what happens? Ball starts moving left and upward diagonally, guys. Let's see that. I said both velocity x also negative, velocity y also negative. I hit Ctrl Enter, click on the play button. You see that it moves to the left and upward diagonally. I hit Ctrl Enter, click on the play button, left upward diagonally it moves. And if velocity x is negative and velocity y is positive, what happens? We know that if velocity x is negative, ball moves to the left. If velocity y is positive, ball moves downward. If we apply them to ball, then ball moves downward and to the left diagonally, guys. Let's see that. I set velocity x negative, velocity y positive, and hit Ctrl Enter, click on the play button. You see that it moves diagonally to the left and downward. I hit Ctrl Enter, click on the play button, right? So like that, we can control the ball movement, guys. Let me set both velocity x as well as velocity y positive. We have velocity x positive, velocity y positive. So what happens? Ball moves diagonally to the right and downward, right? I hit Ctrl Enter, click on the play button. You see that it is moving diagonally downward. Now what I want is I don't want the ball to cross bottom edge of the stage. When it touches the bottom edge of the stage, it should bounce back. It should bounce back. It should go in this direction, guys. So what I do now, if you carefully observe or if you remember, if the ball touches the bottom edge of the stage, I told you that its uh, Y position will be 380. Its Y position will be 380, which is actually the stage height, which is 400 minus ball height, which is 20. So 380. Let me keep it here. 
we can go to second frame of the actions underscore layer go to window menu and say actions we can write a if condition here if ball underscore mc dot y is becoming greater than or equal to stage dot stage height minus ball underscore mc dot height stage dot stage height gives us 400 which is the height of the stage ball underscore mc dot height gives us the height of the ball which is 20 400 minus 20 will be 380 at any time ball y value is becoming greater than or equal to 380 then we set it to 380 we don't allow the ball y to become greater than 380 so we stop the ball at the bottom edge of the stage and then what we do we reverse the velocity y so that it bounces up it goes up so here we say velocity in y equals to velocity in y multiplied by minus 1 so what happens here when ball touches the bottom edge of the stage ball stops there and velocity y becomes negative guys so what happens here velocity y becomes minus 10 right at present velocity y is positive 10 it becomes negative 10 10 into minus 1 will be minus 10 velocity x we are not changing so it will be positive 10 only so what happens velocity x is positive velocity y is negative so ball starts moving diagonally to the right and upward guys let's see that i hit control enter click on the play button you see that ball bounces here right i hit control enter it touches the bottom edge and starts moving to the right and upward so that is how you write the code guys understanding now what i want is i click on the play button i don't want the ball to cross the right edge of the stage when it touches the right edge of the stage it should bounce back it should move in this direction it should go in this direction so if it has to go to the left and upward to the left it has to go means velocity x should be negative and go upward means velocity y also should be negative right guys so we can write the code for that so when ball touches the right edge of the stage i told you that its x position will be 580 its x position will be 580 which is actually stage width minus ball width right stage width minus ball width stage width is 600 ball width is 20 600 minus 20 is 580 so we don't want to allow the ball x to become greater than 580 let me keep it here and go to second frame of the actions underscore layer go to window menu and say actions i'm going to write the code here if ball underscore mc dot x is becoming greater than or equal to stage dot stage width minus ball underscore mc dot width which is 580 right 600 minus 20 580 if ball x is becoming greater than or equal to 580 we set it to 580 we stop the ball at the right edge of the stage first and then we reverse the velocity in x we say velocity in x equal to velocity in x multiplied by minus 1 so what happens here the velocity y will be same we are not changing the velocity y here we are setting velocity y equals to minus 10 comma and velocity x becomes minus 10 this time because we are setting velocity x equal to velocity x multiplied by minus 1 so when velocity y is negative velocity x is negative what happens ball moves left and upward diagonally guys let's see that i hit control enter click on the play button you see that ball goes like this right i close it hit control enter click on the play button hits the bottom edge hits the right edge and goes up what you see that right now i don't want the ball to cross the top edge of the stage when it touches the top edge of the stage it should start moving in this direction it should move left and downward if ball has to move left and downward velocity x should be negative whereas velocity y should be positive right guys i close it 
I'm going to write the code here. If ball underscore mc dot y is becoming less than or equal to zero. If it is becoming less than or equal to zero, we say ball underscore mc dot y equals to zero. So y value should not become less than zero. And we also say here velocity in y equal to velocity in y multiplied by minus one. What happens here? Again, the velocity y becomes positive 10 because velocity y is minus 10. Minus 10 into minus one becomes plus 10. And then velocity x will be same as it is. So we will be having velocity x equals to minus 10. I hit control enter, click on the play button. You see bottom edge, right edge, top edge and goes in this direction, right? I hit control enter, click on the play button. That's how it bounces on the edges guys. Next, when it touches the left edge of the stage, it should move in this direction. That is, it should move to the right and downward. To make the ball move to the right and downward, both velocity x and velocity y should be positive. Velocity x and velocity y should be positive. So what I do here, I'm going to write the code for that. If ball underscore mc dot x is becoming less than or equal to zero, then we should stop the ball at the left edge. So we say ball underscore mc dot x equals to zero. First we stop the ball and then we say velocity in x equal to velocity in x multiplied by minus one semicolon. What happens here? Velocity y will be positive 10 which will be same, right? And then velocity x flips, it is minus 10, it becomes positive 10. So velocity x is also positive, velocity y is also positive. When velocity x is positive, ball moves towards right. When velocity y is positive, ball moves downward. So we are applying both velocity and velocity, both velocity x and velocity y to the ball. So it moves diagonally downward to the right. I hit control enter click on the play button. Now it behaves like a pong game ball guys. You can see that ball is moving diagonally and bouncing on all edges of the stage. That's the bouncing ball code guys. That's it guys for this video tutorial. I hope you understood. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again, understand everything clearly. Try this code yourself. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about save boundary game. If you like this video, hit the like button, share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.